If you are visiting the Kansai area, it's almost certain that you have more than one city on your itinerary. Osaka, Kyoto, Nara, the usual same old, same old. I've already made a few videos on how to navigate transportation inside those cities, which are quite info heavy, very dreadful with all the details, and you guys loved it as much as I had fun making them. But today, we are doing something new. Let's lean back, zoom out a little, and talk about how to move between the three biggest cities in the region by train. At first glance, it might seem like a simpler topic. Indeed, traveling between cities is far less complex than juggling buses, subways, taxis, and trains within a city. However, here if you don't do your homework, it can still feel like rolling the dice. There are at least two trains to get you from one city to another, usually a JR and a private railway. They fall on a spectrum where fast trains usually aren't cheap, and cheap trains usually aren't fast. Here I'll introduce you the most popular train options on each of the three routes and put them on that spectrum so that you get to choose the train of your dreams. Quick note, all the trains I'm going to mention work both ways so I won't have separate sections for each direction. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's talk about the journey from Osaka to Kyoto first. A common mistake new travelers to Japan tend to make is that in cities with several train terminals, a vague search on Google Maps such as Osaka to Kyoto will be unlikely to show you all the available choices. For example, here it's only showing us the JR and Shinkansen options, but not the Hankyu private rail train that I really liked. But if you get more specific and change Osaka to Osaka Umeda Station, then you'll uncover additional options. It's a bit of a quirk with Google, but mastering these tricks can make your travel experience in the country much smoother. Now let's explore the four different options to travel between Osaka and Kyoto. The fastest, albeit the most expensive option, is the Shinkansen. There are actually three Shinkansen trains, the Nozomi, the Hikari, and the Kodama. But no need to worry, for this trip they are virtually the same. You can take all three of them interchangeably. They all stop at the Shinosaka station and will reach Kyoto station with slightly varying travel times, around 13 minutes. However, the cost can be as high as 3,080 yen for reserved seats, which isn't exactly budget friendly. Also, considering that not many people I know would stay near Shinosaka station, you can't ignore the extra time and cost of getting there. Therefore, it's best to opt for the Shinkansen trains only if you have a nationwide JR pass or if you're in a hurry. Moving on to a middle ground option, we have the Limited Express Trains. Again, three different names, more or less the same experience, Haruka, Thunderbird, and Super Hakuto. What's convenient is that all three can be boarded from both Osaka Station and Shin Osaka Station, offering a bit more flexibility than the Shinkansen trains. The Limited Express Trains are also more budget friendly, costing 1,670 yen for a reserved seat. However, there is a trade-off in terms of travel time, as it takes around 26 to 32 minutes to reach your destination from Osaka Station. Among these, Haruka is the slowest and may not be the best choice considering its price tag, especially when compared to the other more economical options I'm about to introduce. But if you have the Kansai Area Pass, you can ride Haruka for free. The third JR option is the Special Rapid Train which you'll find listed as the Tokaido Sanyo line on Google Maps. And for some unimaginable reasons, Google almost always put the limited express trains and the rapid trains together as a single option. I cannot fathom how many people must have got really confused by this like I did. But if you click on the thing and look at the thing, you'll know for sure if this is indeed the special rapid train. This is a regular commuter train that runs from both Osaka and Shin Osaka to Kyoto Station. Since it's a commuter train, it doesn't offer reserved seats, however, it still gets you to your destination in almost the same amount of time as the limited express trains, taking around 26 minutes. That's even quicker than Haruka, and it comes at a much more affordable price, at nearly one-third the cost. So what's not to love? Well, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. First, try to avoid traveling during rush hours, which typically run from 7 to 9 a.m. and 6 to 8 p.m. Second, be careful about the train you're taking. There's also a rapid service train without the special flair. 
The not so special rapid train costs the same but is about 10 minutes slower, so do make sure to check the information display to board the right train. Finally, the last option to go between Osaka and Kyoto is not provided by JR West, but instead by Hankyu, a private rail company. The train only costs 410 yen to go from Osaka Umeda Station, which is right next to Osaka Station, to Kyoto Kawaramachi Station. It's a bit farther away from Kyoto Station, but it's still a great starting point to explore the city nonetheless, being actually closer to many top well-known tourist attractions. However, the trip is, as expected, the longest of all options, taking 45 minutes to complete. But with a price that low, I don't think it's bad at all. Also, if you plan to do a round trip on the same day, you can pick up the Hankyu one day pass for 700 yen, slashing the cost for one trip down to 350 yen, which is a steal. Sir, you are going to jail. Jokes aside, just make sure you don't book accommodation at the wrong station, okay? Phew, that's the first leg of the trip sorted from Osaka to Kyoto. If you've been following my other tutorials, you'll know that it's really not that bad. Once I've laid out all the options for you, it should only require minimal effort to follow. Let's continue. You have fewer options when traveling from Kyoto to Nara or vice versa. Now I'm suing Google for showing the slow and most expensive route with the most transfers as the first suggested option. While my lawyer is doing that, you should know that there are three different trains that can take you from Kyoto to Nara. First, you have the standard JR rapid train option listed as the Nara line on Google Maps. And it'll get you from Kyoto Station to JR Nara Station in around 45 minutes, costing 720 yen. Now for the private rail options, there are two trains from Kintetsu. These trains go between Kyoto Station and Kintetsu Nara Station. Among the two Kintetsu trains, one is the cheaper and slower regular train, which costs 760 yen and takes around 54 minutes. Ridiculous! Ridiculous! Shown on Google Maps as Kintetsu Kyoto or Kintetsu Nara Line. The other is the Kintetsu Limited Express, which costs 1,280 yen, but cuts the travel time in half to just 34 minutes. It's generally recommended to take one of the Kintetsu trains to Nara, since the Kintetsu Nara station they stop at is a lot closer to your usual Nara tourist destinations. Also, here's a life changer. If you purchase the Kintetsu one day pass for 1,500 yen before you go, you won't have to spend another dime on travel during your visit to the beautiful city. The pass covers the round trip on the regular Kintetsu train and unlimited bus rides in Nara City, so you can get around the city without a care in the world. In case it's still not clear enough, go for the Kintetsu train. The final route takes you from Osaka to Nara, and there are only two reasonable options to consider. First, you can once again take the regular Kintetsu train that I introduced in the previous section, this time traveling from Osaka Namba Station to Kintetsu Nara Station. This journey takes about 35 minutes and costs 680 yen. The Kintetsu One Day Pass, which I mentioned earlier, also applies to this route, so be sure to check it out if you plan to visit Nara and not stay the night there. Unlike the previous route, there is no limited express train from Kintetsu in this direction. The other option is to take the subway wannabe JR train, the Osaka Loop Line. This route runs from Osaka Station to Nara Station, taking 50 minutes and costing 820 yen, which is not as attractive as the Kintetsu train in every single aspect. However, what this train offers is the convenience of boarding from Osaka Station, making it a viable choice if that's where you're staying. Moreover, if you have a JR Pass, you can ride this train for free. So, these are the only two options for traveling between Osaka and Nara. Nothing too fancy, but they get the job done. Alright, I've now covered every train you can take to travel between Osaka, Kyoto, and Nara. I hope the information here will help you make a clear choice for your trip. If you have any questions, or if there's anything I haven't explained, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. 
And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more Japan travel guides to come. And as always, have a fantastic trip.